Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the UCX series. In this video we're going to focus on code migration. Code migration is the next step after table migration. So for code migration a lot of the steps at this moment will need to be done outside of UCX. However UCX is developing new features and here we are going to see some of the ones that are already available. First of all we have the lint local code command. This command will help you analyze the code you have in your local machine and detect if there are changes that you need to make in order to make it compatible with Unity Catalog. For example, references to DBFS and how you need to update them. Once these are identified, there's another command that you can run that's called migrate local code. This command is marked as experimental and it's also under development. And this will allow you to perform the changes in the code. As you might have noticed, lint local code and migrate local code are focused on files in your machine. Also, they are limited to .py files and .sql files at this moment. However, they are currently in development, so future releases might make it possible to have more flexibility for this. Additionally, there is another experimental command that might be useful that's called migrate db sql dashboards. And this one, as its name suggests, is focused on dashboards that you already have in your workspace and its underlying queries. And it allows you to migrate those to make them Unity Catalog compatible. Finally, another useful command that exists as part of UCX is the cluster remap command. This command allows you to remap the existing cluster configurations to Unity Catalog configurations. You need to provide the comma separated lists of clusters that you need to upgrade. It will migrate them to Unity Catalog compatible clusters and it will back up the old configuration of those clusters to a JSON file. If you wish to revert this migration, you can run the revert cluster remap command. So those are the commands that are available as part of UCX at this moment to help you during your code migration. However, UCX is still under development, so surely future functionality will come out. And with that, we finished the code migration video. Thank you very much.